To see a functional 43-year-old prototype is rare, but to see one of this significance is truly special. The car is a 1974 Torino King Cobra, and it's one of just two original test cars known to exist. The product of a stillborn racing development program, the car features one-of-a-kind aerodynamic upgrades and a hot Boss 429 backed by a top-loader 4-speed. With links to legends like Holman and Moody and Bud Moore Engineering, the King Cobra is well known among Ford royalty and documented across many printed and online publications. If you're looking for the crown jewel for your Ford collection, this is the ultimate. They say that legends don't die, and in the case of the Blue King Cobra, that statement holds true. Some years later, Ford fanatic Steve and Dennis were informed of an unusual Torino hull sitting in a South Carolina field. The car was reported to carry a 69 style data plate, as well as prototype stickers and Boss 429 shock towers. The combination was too interesting to pass up, so the pair struck a deal and brought the Torino home. Restoration proved to be doubly difficult, as they had to first figure out what exactly the car was, and then find the ultra-rare pieces needed to complete it. Contacts in the Ford NASCAR world confirmed this car was formerly a King Cobra, while other connections guided them towards the original nose. Once the puzzle pieces were in place, efforts focused on the body. Sanding revealed a vermilion base coat, buried underneath several layers of paint, so the car was reshot with that high-profile hue. Though the restoration has some age on it, the paint and body still show with confidence, a true testament to the level at which the car was restored. As a prototype, this car was a rolling test bed for Ford products. While the car was delivered to Bud Moore's shop with a hot 460, that engine was neither the first nor the last to be fitted into the car. With the Boss 429 shock towers in place, the bay was practically begging for shotgun power, so that's exactly what you'll find in place today. The block carries a high-performance coat of blue paint and a casting number, which designates it as a high-performance 429. The foundation is topped with aluminum heads, which frame the combination of aluminum dual-plane intake and a single Holly 4 barrel. Dress is provided by a blue single snorkel air cleaner assembly with a chrome lid, while black Boss 429 valve covers carry the famous Holman and Moody logo. From the power steering pump and power brake assembly, to the windshield wiper motor on the firewall, all the makings of a comfortable driver are present and period correct. Details like the auto light voltage regulator, correct hoses, and an auto light stay full battery further the authentic presentation. Turn the key and the boss roars to life without hesitation, settling into an intimidating idol. These cars were originally planned as production pieces, so the interior features many of the same bells and whistles as any other early 70s Ford. Both front and rear seating are provided by vinyl-clad bench seats, which carry a highly authentic look. Slide in the driver's seat for a closer look at the stock dash, which features a horizontal speedometer, square fuel and temperature gauges, and an odometer that reads 43,235 miles. All the typical chrome pull switches are here, and there's even slider controls for the heater and AM radio. Input is fed through an unassuming three-spoke steering wheel and stainless trimmed pedals. While Ford and Chrysler fans will both tell you their respective sides are the clear champions of the Aero Wars, the truth is probably somewhere closer to the middle. Out of 102 Grand National races held during the 69 and 70 seasons, Aero cars claimed 73 victories overall. Of those, Ford claimed 37, while Chrysler brought home 36. Looking at this 1970 Torino King Cobra, it's hard not to wonder what its race prepped equivalent would have done in competition, and that unspent potential is part of what makes the car so intriguing. Vehicles this exclusive don't come up for sale often, and usually find homes in long-term collections where they remain for decades to come. If you've dreamed of owning the ultimate Ford collectible, they simply don't get any better than this.
For more information on this ultra-rare 70 Ford Torino King Cobra, call, click, or visit rkmotorscharlotte.com.